So now that we have a working program and we can show that it actually compiles, let's test Elm Reactor again. Sorry, I'm projecting Realm Final Fantasy VI. If we go to our localhost 8000 again in our browse war, localhost, and navigate to our main Elm, it automatically compiles for us. And we can see, yo! So let's go ahead and rip this tab off. We will bring it over to our Elm here. Put it on the left, put our program on the right, get rid of our files. And you can see that we have div text yo. And if I say, hey, and hit save, and reload, it'll say, hey. So that's great, it's showing our program, but there's one problem with it, and that is, is that it's not actually showing our model. So if we take our model and say, hey, let's, let's go ahead and put model.value in there. The problem with that is because we're trying to give it a, a number, and text takes a string. And so we need to convert this to a string, even though this takes a string. And so the way we convert this number to a string is we just import, from int and wrap it with parentheses so it doesn't get confused. There we go. Now let's go back and refresh our program and it's zero. Fantastic. We start with zero and just to verify we say it starts with 52 man. Refresh on the left and there you go. So that's your basic program and that's how you display models in the view. So whatever the model is the view is always going to show. So you think of model view controller from object-oriented programming style of architectures or MVVM or model view supervising controller, you know, all the, all the versions of that MVP. This is very, very similar in that you have the model that's shown inside your view and whenever it changes from a user messages that the update will handle it.